Hello YouTube, so the project we got today is we got a welding square, I got it clamped onto the welding table at the proper height so that it's centered between the top and the bottom. And I'm going to go around and weld it. When I'm all done I make these welding squares out of them. This is one of the ones I did a couple years ago, or over a year ago, it looks a little bit on the tough side. I had just gotten the Miller 252 at the time, but what I'm planning on doing is making another one. I'll have to move it before I can do these center pieces, but if I do the outside perimeter while it's all clamped down, and these should all be cut to the right lengths, so that'd be that inside piece right there. There'd be one that's the same length. that would go right here. Get a long one on either side. We should have three. There are two that are the same length and one in the middle that's slightly smaller. This must be the other one. So, this is what we're putting together today. It should be a fun project. To make sure that these aren't crooked, I'm going to use uh, one, two, three blocks that I can sit on there. I can clamp to these with a clamp. And then I know that I got them at the right height because it's all flush and it's all clamped and nice and square. So. Nothing left to do but to do it. You watched me last night weld up all these spots all the way around and the welds don't look great but they're not horrible. Nothing to write home about. Clamping it down, tweaking it all, making sure that I was staying uh, square with uh, vertical. Here we go. Uh, these are just plasma cut uh, cross sections, 316 plate, quarter inch side, two inch by a quarter on the sides that I welded to them. I uh, used spacer to space these, the center plate in the center, and I just went around and, yep, it needs to be a uh, wire wheeled again before you think about painting. I might weld some nuts to the inside, so if I want to bolt tabs to it to give me that third plane, I got it all set up. But uh, for something that's a quick and easy weld together. Now, there is splatter on the, on the top and stuff. That's from... Uh, when I welded in these outside beads, uh, because it's hot rolled, it still has got the galvan or not the galvanized. It still has got the mill scale on it, so that all needs to get ground off before it's usable, because you wouldn't have square edges. But that'll be kind of when you go and feather out these uh, corners, you take care of that too. And then I also got that same uh, splatter on the table. I'll go and touch that all off before I square it up. I'll probably use the one, two, three blocks running around it again just to make sure when I have it bolted or flat on the table, making sure that I'm getting contact. If you put a flashlight behind these and you have a slight edge, a little bubble, you see one side looks dark and the other side has a nice little light shining through. So when I have these down on the table, I'll put one, ed one edge of the surface down on the table and then I'll be able to see that a lot clearer, easier. The way this is designed is so that when this is flat, when you grind these two to the right height, both of these points are at 12 inches down and you also have 12 inches across. So you could look at it as a welding equivalent of a 12 inch uh, parallel. Uh, these I believe come out to be six and a quarter inches between this parallel and this parallel. At one point I was trying to figure out if I can make the geometry work that if I shove this in here and you went from this surface with the plate, which is still warm, sitting on top. If that could be something special height-wise, but I don't think I have or I haven't measured it. But uh, maybe be 13 or I have to check. But uh, I did this before I had a decent table. I think I was welding basically on a piece of plywood. And trying to get everything squared up and nice was very difficult. Having a nice uh, bolster plate table, this is a one inch thick plate. It's not a Miller. We just put the decals on it because we have a Miller welder. But uh, 
And then plus, the color blue is just awesome. We can all paint these all Miller blue. I could send these out in a flat rate envelope. Probably the smaller one, because this would just ship a lot easier. Just this flat rate envelope. Kind of have a wallet yourself kit. So you'd get just a cross section. You go to your normal steel supplier, buy two by a quarter. Or if you want to do three by a quarter, make them some beefier squares. Or maybe a smaller square that's not quite so heavy, do one by a quarter. But I think the quarter inch thickness gives them a nice strength. Kind of a cool thickness. I got the little one starting to get ground up and cleaned up as well. I'll probably try to, I don't know if I throw these in the mill and try to mill them flat or parallel. Got it. You got to think of what you're going to use this for. Is this going to be something that you're going to use for fixturing on the mill? Then that's very important. If this is something you're going to use to weld up stuff that is kind of rusty and so so, then that's the milling process is probably not all necessary. Now, if you really take your time, this table is nice and flat and cleaned off. It's hard to do in this one hand. But if you look at this, I don't know if you can really make it out or not. That's not bad. And this is going off of a Mitutoyo precision level. From that, you could take a 45. And these all have kind of stuff on them from the table and these magnets. But if you clamp this like this, now you have a parallel 90 degree platform that you can lift up and down. And if we check this, this should still be square. have uh, these twins large and small we've got this one which is still hot from welding on it's uh, I believe a 30 degree angle and then we got when they cut these out I had the guy give me the centers and I made us another one out of the centers same with the 45 square and the big 45 the little 45 square came out of the big 45 so Got six of these total that I'm working on. Fun project coming along. Thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. And until uh, next time.